Hey everyone, Kiwi Crypto Miner here. Welcome into another YouTube video. Before we get into the video, I'd just like to say thank you to those who have donated via the donation link down in the description uh, and anyone who's wanting to help support the channel and help me buy new GPUs for testing, you can donate to the Give a Little page down in the description below and all that money will go towards purchasing more GPUs for testing. All right, getting into the video. So I've finally started testing Ironfish. Um, I have been pretty busy busy recently so I haven't been able to get around to it. Uh, so in this video I've tested it on just the 6000 series to start with um, and then I'll do a follow-up video where I test it on the NVIDIA 30 series. You can see that I'm using Team Red Miner version 0.10.11 um, so this was released today it's the most recent version of Team Red Miner and it is the most efficient miner for 6000 series cards on Ironfish. So I did test all the other miners and this was the most efficient. Um, so a couple of things to note, I'll just jump into the flight sheet for starters. Uh, you'll see here that I'm using Rabid, Rabid's Ironfish wallet. So I've, I've just copied um, Rabid Mining's wallet address because, so for some reason, I cannot get a wallet going. This is where the wallet should be. And there is just not a wallet here. None of these repositories are um, the wallet, which it should be. So I don't know why that's happening. And then obviously on the main website for Ironfish, they haven't actually released their official wallet. Um, so that's the reason that I am using Rapid's um, wallet, because I just couldn't make a wallet. And um, yeah, honestly, he's not going to get much from it, because I've only been testing for like short periods of time. So. Um, yeah, I did use the same, I believe the same pool as him so that he can hopefully benefit from it very slightly. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on to the next part, so the the rest of the flight sheet, um, I've just put in, well all this stuff is pre-populated except for the R mode, so I always put in the R mode for Team Red Miner because um, it helps ever so slightly on efficiency. Um, and then, yeah, the overclock settings, so I think for every GPU it was most efficient, for all of the 6000 series it was most efficient at 1450 core clock. Um, every GPU could handle 610 on the memory controller voltage which is very standard for the 6000 series. Um, it is an extremely core dominant algorithm so you can use the memory tweak command using the um, one memory clock to change the memory state. Uh, which leaves the memory voltage able to go down extremely low. So I've just set it at 650. I'm, I don't even know if that um, applies as 650. Um, probably doesn't. Uh, we'll have a look in here actually. Doesn't doesn't say. So you get the just the frequencies in here. So we've got the core clock, the SOC clock, and the memory clock. Um, which, yeah, once it's applied the memory state of zero, that looks like 96 megahertz. Um, VDDC is 637, but that's the only voltage that's showing. So, yeah, I think it's set at 640, right? So, oh, 650, so 637 is quite a bit off of that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, so this is just the 6800, obviously, and I've also tested the others. And yeah, for anyone who likes to see the inside of the miner, there's that. Uh, and this is the flight sheet, oh, sorry, flight sheet. This is the uh, pool side, so you can see that I am getting, currently getting the full hash rate at the pool. Uh, 10 giga hash. Um, I haven't been running it for six hours, so the six hour average is not going to be there. Uh, just an hour 22. It's been fully stable so far, 100 accepted shares, and no rejected shares or invalid shares. Uh, moving on to the rest of the results that I've got, so you can see uh, the results that I just showed you there for the 6800 and then the rest of the cards here. Um, so there was a little bit of differences on the VDD or the core voltage and the SOC VDD max. So if you have any issues with your card and it's crashing on the settings that I've given, increase the only these two settings, the VDD and the SOC VDD Max. You shouldn't have any issues with any of the other settings, except if you have a card that's kind of faulty on the memory, in which case you may not be able to utilize the memory command. 
Um, so I do have one GPU that can't do that. It's a 6700 XT and it um, it's just um, doesn't like the memory tweak. So uh, that is a thing, can happen. Cards sometimes don't like the memory tweak. Uh, and the other thing is if you have a Micron memory card, the MVDD will probably be a lot higher than this in order to be stable. Um, and yeah, you can see what I wrote down here about I've tested LOL minor, BZ minor, and SRB minor, and all the hash rates and wattages are both worse. So the efficiency is a lot worse. And then um, I initially started testing on version 0.10.10, .10, but then 0.10.11 came out just today, so um, there was an ever so slight drop in hash rate, but a slight increase in efficiency. So I did all my testing at 0.10.11. But yeah, to be honest, it was pretty minimal change. So yeah, always go with the most recent minor of uh, version of any minor. It's it's always the best way to go. And then yeah, you can have a look at the results in here. So the um, the hash rate that we're getting there, the wattage measured at the wall, the software wattage for anyone who likes to compare that, and then the efficiency based on the wattage at the wall. So you can see that the most efficient card pretty much same as usual is the 6600 XT um, at 19 sorry 0 0.194 giga hash per watt uh, which is pretty good efficiency um, obviously I don't know what the 30 series cards or Nvidia cards are going to be doing at the moment so can't really compare it to that but uh, obviously compared to these other GPUs here it's very good efficiency uh, second place coming in here is the 6700 XT at 0 0.185 then the 6800 and in last place was the 6600 um, yeah so the 6600 is XT sorry is pretty good um, and 6700 XT is pretty good as well but uh, the other two aren't, aren't too great so um, obviously we need to do the testing for these Nvidia cards before I can make a direct comparison but yeah every time I tested new coin and stuff I'm just start to like the 6600 XT more and more I now have three of them which I'm um, not that many but I got um, eight 6600s three 6600 XTs three 6700 XTs and just the one 6800 for testing used to have two but I had sold the other one like right back at the peak of the market so I definitely don't regret that sold it for like eighteen hundred dollars New Zealand dollars and now they sell for about 650 so it's almost like it's like 60 percent down or something something ridiculous like that almost two-thirds of the value gone um but yeah pretty crazy stuff um yeah that's pretty much all i got for this video so yeah leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel and leave a donation if you want to support the channel even more and have a great rest of your day see ya